Uh, what? Danger? Keep out. Oh my god, what are you doing to me? I gotta go in. You know I gotta go in. What does that say? Uh, danger, keep out. So I'm assuming I gotta break this sign. Is there anything else in here? Oh. How's it going, guys? Dre here, and welcome back to Desert Skies. Now, there has actually been two updates since I last showed you this game. I actually did record an episode of the last update, but I thought it was kind of not really worth it to upload it because not much happened, if I'm totally honest. Uh, but as you can see, I've changed the floor to this lattice structure so I can see below it, so I can see where the Seeker is. Also, we killed a lot more Seekers. I think we just had this wall last time, and I'm starting to... Uh, go all around it. Now, the reason why I scrapped the episode is I wanted to build this bigger, and just by sheer luck, I actually maxed it out in terms of height as well. So, I found that out during recording that I'm actually maxed out. I can't build any further up, so we have the biggest structure that you can currently build in this game. Now, another thing that happened in the last update was the Seeker got a little bit more difficult. As you can see on the left, I have a stamina bar now. Are you in my... I thought he was in my damn castle. That would have been scary. But we have a stamina bar now when the Seeker sees us. So that makes life a little bit more difficult. And I actually lost all my gold bullets because I was busy killing these guys in the last episode. So I have no ammo right now. And we have another new update that we are going to check out. By sheer luck, I actually spawned in. And I think this little tent up here is a new NPC that is supposed to give us quests. It's called Clifftop Cabin. I can only assume that's a clifftop and it looks like a cabin, so I think we gotta get over there. The hard part's gonna be trying to run over there without dying, because I have nothing to defend myself against the Seeker right now. So, maybe we should go get gold, but what's the chances of us finding this again anytime soon is probably pretty low. So I'm gonna take a risk here. Worst case, we die and we gotta go get our stuffs. Um, and I just gotta make it all the way over here. Oh my god, the stamina goes down so quickly though. Okay, just keep sprinting. You can't kill me. Yes, he can. What am I saying? Okay, but there we go. We have made it up. Talk about lucky, though. I've been getting extremely lucky in this game. Like, I seriously just spawned in, and we are already by what has got to be this new update. So, don't kill myself here. Let's go see what this guy's all about. Now, the developer says he gives a quest or something. I don't want to spoil too much, but uh, I think this guy's going to put us on a quest right now. Is he in here? Wait, maybe this isn't it. I told him they were real. The creature came right up out of the ground like a demon straight from hell. I scrambled up here while it got Murphy. I wanted to yell for Will and Dan to follow me, but the fear was too much. Please forgive me. Now I'm all alone. It killed the oxen, and I'm too far away from town to walk. I can survive on the supplies below for a time, but then what? Okay, so maybe this isn't... Man, is there... So there's got to be a lot of clifftop places now. Uh, so this can't be it because I'm not seeing anybody here unless there's... Oh my god, somebody <laughs> fell down the canyon over here. I love the small attention to detail that the developers put in this game because it is so well done. Okay. Well, I guess we are going to have to explore. That's fine. We're going to need to get some gold anyways to uh, hopefully kill a few more Seekers. Uh, so back to the skies we go. And there's also more to this update as well. So we'll be on the lookout for some other things. I don't want to spoil it all for you though. Is this actually where the mine is? Because I think the mine had an upgrade. No, I don't think this is the mine area. Oh, God, this is a bad idea. Uh, this may be a whole new zone. It doesn't really look familiar to me. Oh, God. Okay. Let's just keep going. I should probably start collecting rocks because I think I'm definitely going to need them. Uh, yeah, you know what? We're just going to go back to the sky. That's too bad. I seriously thought that was it. Uh, but, yeah, we have to keep on a lookout, and hopefully we can find it quite quickly. Okay, well, while we're waiting for this place to show up, which hopefully it does in this episode, that would suck if it doesn't, but yeah, we'll have to keep an eye out. That actually might be something coming up. Uh, we do have something else we have to make, though. Now we can actually put water on our uh, airship here. We can have the water barrel or water tank. Now, water barrel uh, has three canteens with the water in it, and water tank has seven. So we're going to be putting the water tank down somewhere, but I'm being bit nosy right now. Is that the cabin? Well, this is obviously, there's something on top of this. Oh my god, the lag. Every time I load up a place, unfortunately, we get a little bit of lag. I'm trying to see. This is probably the same place, isn't it? But we're on the other side of it. 
before we landed on the other. This is very confusing. So maybe there's multiple of these uh, tents on the top now. It seems like the surviving people went to the hills to survive the Seeker, which uh, I think is kind of where we're going with the storyline here. Where the hell am I? Okay, over here. What we're looking for is a cabin in a hill, not a tent. But maybe, just maybe, I mean, this could be... No, this is definitely the same thing. I mean, we have the same cactus here. At least this one has cactus fruit, so we can take those and uh, get some sustenance. But yeah, probably the same message. Oh, hey, beans. Maybe I missed that last time. Uh, what? Oh, there, there it is. <laughs> yeah, so exactly the same place. For We were... That's weird. So I, I guess these randomly load in because I swear our ship was over here last time. I thought it would be at the, at the same place uh, every time, but I guess not. Okay, so for the water tank, we need two rope and six nails. We should definitely have lots of that in here. I'm not very organized right now, but I do have a pretty good collection of stuff. So we got that. 50 nails. Wow, we got lots of nails right now. So no big deal. We should be able to easily put this down. So yeah, the water barrel, like I said, basically a smaller version of the tank. So we're obviously going to put down the tank, and we will put it right over here by my other food area. So we're going to have to actually get the bucket now which is something that I've never made. I guess it was in the game before. Sp find a spot on the platform to build this. Oh, I've, I've already built it. Uh, so yeah, I guess we actually got to fill it. I'm wondering. I hope they add rain later so we can fill this with rainwater because that's the one thing that's hard to obtain is food and water. I mean, obviously we're in the desert. That's not surprising, uh, but it'd be nice to try and make my own. If we could get farming as well, that would be amazing. Okay, but now when we stop at a place... We can fill this bucket up with water and fill that up so we have water on our ship. So it makes more sense to stop off at the locations that I've already stopped off at. All right, so let's just land to get some uh, fiber real quick. Uh, okay, so the Seeker can hear me. I actually landed by one of the railway towns. I'm not going to go there, though, because I don't really need anything right now. Just need a little bit of fiber for that canteen. And yeah, next time we see a city, we'll go collect some of this water to put in that thing. Can I get up here? Oh, thank God. Please tell me that's a cabin. That's one thing we need in this game is binoculars, man, because I uh, can't see until we're exactly up there. Uh, that's not a cabin, but is that the mine? I know there's a new update with the mine as well, so I'm pretty sure... It's been a while since I've been there, but I'm pretty sure that's what the mine looked like, so let's drop down. And there's a camp down there. Yeah, I'm... Oh, man, it's hard to tell. Um, now, I'm told before it was a safe haven... The update states that there's danger down here now, not with the Seeker, but with other things. No idea what that means, but we're obviously going to go back in. I need to get some gold anyways, because uh, this is an easy place to uh, get some more bullets. I don't think this is gold, but I thought I'd just try. Uh, yeah, that's right. I think I tried that when we first went in here, too. This is one of the coolest places, though. This random mine. So is this where the gold... I'm pretty sure this is the gold room over... Ah! Jesus! Well, you can't do that to me! Okay, so is is that the dangerous part now? Is that actually did that damage me? I think it did. Oh, oh my god. Yep. Okay, so I'm assuming <laughs> Oh, they're evil, man. Uh these things now fall and try and kill you. Great. So not not only the seekers trying to kill me, the cave itself, which I believe is the seekers home. I mean, I'm not certain on that, but uh that that that's my theory. It tries to kill me as well now. Great. All right. Well, we'll go explore very slowly, mind you, the rest of the cave and see if that's the update or if there's oh god are you guys gonna drop again i love that though that's actually really cool adding some things that can damage you but not adding new creatures that's that's smart because it seems like they really want to focus on the seeker which i'm cool with uh and yeah this is another cool threat to the game now which way i'm so easily lost i think this is the way we didn't go nope wrong way <laughs> Okay, I'm just waiting for a, a little creature to charge me or something. Ah, God! Okay, okay. Even over here, they do it. What? What? Holy crap! Oh, my God! That is... Court! I just killed myself. I wanted to look at it because I wanted to see what was going on. I did not expect that at all. God, now I gotta go back down there? Is it gonna reset and kill me again? Though, I, I thought it would just be the little drops. I did not. All I heard behind me was horrifying noises, and yeah, that was actually really impressive. Okay, and there is my dead body, and it doesn't look like it resets, so, uh, man, that was just a cool experience. Thank God I didn't lose all my loot. Oh, yeah, there's red mushrooms in here, too. Ah, oh, God, not again. Come on, man. I thought at least one zone on this place would be safe. The, the happy little mushroom zone. Clearly, even this is dangerous. 
And actually, I just noticed, did we see this last time? There's a guy over here. What's up, dude? Oh my god, it's a pirate, and we can take his stuffed parrot. Okay, I actually already have one of those. I don't know if you guys saw that episode, because I edited out a lot of these episodes. Uh, but yes, we can put that on our, sh on our ship now. It's been so clear since finally getting some food in my belly. The others were going to betray me, take all the gold for themselves. I could feel it. I showed them. Nobody makes a fool out of Je Je Jebediah. I'll just rest here a spell and eat a bit more of that delicious grub. It's mine now, and you died eating that delicious grub. Well, at least you died happy, it looks like, buddy. All right, so there's one of the small updates with this new version of the game. Gotta say, uh, they added a lot to this horrifying cave, and it's not so safe anymore. I will say that. Last time, it felt like a safe haven, which it definitely was. Not so much anymore. I wonder if the oasis is still safe. Okay, that looks like a whole new structure. I don't... Is that buildings on top of that place? Is there a whole city that's elevated? I'm seeing a way up right over here where my, where my aimer is. Yeah, this is definitely... I think this is it. I'm pretty sure this is it. And it's way bigger than I expected, so I'm obviously a little excited right now. So yeah, I think I gotta go up over there. I just want to get off the ground as quickly as possible. I guess we do have a weapon now, so I don't have to worry so much. Uh, I was able to make quite a few bullets. So, how am I always lost every time I go off my thing? Uh, yeah, we got a way to walk, so let's just try and be as silent as possible so the Seeker can't hear us. Once we get up there, I think we should be safe. That's one- that's- that, that's the Seeker's weakness. He can't climb. There's someone on top. So yeah, that's- this is definitely it. That is obviously a cabin in the hills. We have found the zone, and look at this place. This is by far the most complex place I think I've seen yet. Uh, so it's exciting to see kind of where they're de developing to. And, uh, yeah, I'm excited to see what this guy's all about. Okay, just looking around, seeing what else we have. Is that something over there? I'm not sure what that is. I want to go over and see the cabin first, obviously. It looks like he's got a farm going on. So like I said, I want a farm. This is a good sign, man. We got all this cactus fruit. We'll, we'll grab it later. Um, grain of some sort? Oh, this dude knows what's up. I need to learn from him, and there he is! Another human! The second human that we've seen. Now, the last human I accidentally killed. Well, not really accidentally, I, I tested it for science. This guy, I don't, I, don't, I don't think we'll try and kill him right away, because he seems to know what's up, and we could probably get some information about, uh, from him. Is this like gold mining? This looks like a gold pan. Alright, what's up, my dude? How, how are you doing, good sir? Oh, man, you know what's up. <laughs> <laughs> uh, howdy there, young whippersnapper. That's a mighty fine airship you flew in on. What a way to get around. I used to travel far from here myself when I was a youngin', but these old bones of mine stay up here where it's safe these days. Speaking of my old tired bones, I can't go climbing on the arches just past my cabin anymore, but I left a photograph of my dear departed wife. I saw that. Would you be so kind to go fetch it for me? Of course, good sir. Mm. I left it on the lookout we used to sit at atop of the arches, look for the mm. bench. Okay. Well, it looks like I have a little bit of a quest to do uh, to get make this guy happy, so at least I know exactly where this is. Okay. Got your photograph. Let's just walk back now and not kill myself. Well, here you are, buddy. What a blessing it is to have a youngin' like you here to help. Let me search my pockets for a reward. These bones of mine are too old and tired for aching to make the journey out to the pond. Could you fetch some water? The pond is hidden amongst those butt. I don't even know what a butts is. Uh, out past my fields. Okay, well, at least I know where that is. Okay, well, at least I brought my own bucket, so I, we should only need to take one trip. I said two bucket loads. Okay, don't yell at me, good sir. Uh, all right, so pick up the bucket. Yes, now we have two. All right, where the hell? Dude, are you lying to me? Is there a pond over here somewhere? Okay, I think we gotta go maybe down over here. Oh, what do we got over here? Ow. The Seeker heard that. Oh, I didn't realize he could get through here. Oh, God, the Seeker. I have the stamina bar, so the Seeker must be up. The question is, can he get in here? And there it is! Okay, that's hardly a pond, dude. That's like a glorified puddle. But I understand. I mean, we are in the desert after all. Okay. Task two done. What What else do you have for me? Oh, crap. That's right. They added a feature where if you jump, you lose water. And if you sprint, you lose water as well. Because obviously you're going to spill it. So I actually really appreciate that small attention to detail. But this is going to be really hard to... Wait, how am I going to get there without... Spilling it. Maybe if I don't hold it, do I still lose it? I doubt it. Where is he? Okay, I'm scared. I'm just gonna run. I heard him. 
He's obviously somewhere behind me. Oh, there he is. Okay, we actually got a little bit of a distance ahead of him. I don't mind being your meal boy, but you better give me something yeah. good. I said two bucket loads. Dude, I gave you them. Do I have to actually put them in there? I could drink his water if I really wanted to, but no. Okay, G to pour out bucket. There you go. Thought I'd have to give him to him, but it looks like he's got it Come full. On. My bones, thank you. Let me search my pockets for a word. Did you just search mine? Are you, are you trying to pickpocket me, dude? Mm -hmm. My saplings are coming up nicely out there in my field, and now with all the water, they're sure to grow true. Only problem is my aching, tired old bones are cracking like a saloon door. Would you water my saplings for me? Use the bucket to carry water, and it will take a youngin' like you no time at all. All right, dude. All right. You know what? Do I have to make sure? It's in the field just to the right over the bridge. Okay, so water the saplings. Got it. So, yeah, I'm pretty sure this guy just made me his bitch, because, uh... He isn't really giving me anything to do all this. So saplings, I'm assuming not the cacti, but these little guys over here. Eat a poor water. There you go. Abu. It warms my heart having a farm hand here to help me. Let me search my pockets for a reward. What is he giving me? I haven't even actually noticed. He's giving me something at the top. I'm assuming, what do I have a lot of? The cactus fruit I stole. So I'm not even sure what he's giving me. Before you arrived, I was I was about to seed my new field, but my aching, tired, old, cracking bones... Okay, I, I get it, dude. You're aching, tired, old, cracking bones, and I have to do it. There's a basket of seeds in the field. Go get it. I said get to it. Jesus, man. You're so mean to me. So what do we do now? I'm pretty sure we just put these things in here. I can't seem to actually equip them. Um, I guess we just press E. There we go. Dude, farming is so coming. I guarantee it now. We can plant... We can water. The reason the mechanics are here is probably for the future when farming is available on our ship. There we go, though. Do we have to water it? Did he say that? Oh, crap. I just dropped a bunch of my water because I sprinted. I love that feature. I don't think he said to water them, but we'll find out. You are the best farmhand this old coot could wish for. I may have taken advantage of your kindness a little. Just a little bit, maybe. I've had this old thing for ages. It was built for a sea ship. But I think it would look mighty fine on the front of your ship. Oh my god, I have a front, uh, like the front thing on the ships. What are they called? I don't even know what they're called. But that's pretty cool. Help yourself to my cactus fruit. Oh, I already did, dude. They grow so fast thanks to my special fertilizer. I'm coming back to you when, 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 when farming's around me because you seem to know how to farm, my good sir. I used to be a traveling magician and a hypnotist many years ago. There were six of us in our traveling circus. Hmm. Thank you again for helping my aching, tired, old, stiff, cracking bones. You're welcome. So the update also mentions that there's a cave here which houses a mysterious surprise. So we are not going to leave yet. There's obviously more to this, so we have to look out for a cave. I thought he would kind of lead us to it. Doesn't look like that happened, but uh, it probably is just... Why am I still able to talk to the old coot over there? Uh, it should be... If we can get a good visual here, maybe we can see it. Oh, man, there's a lot to this. So maybe it's down by the pond. I didn't look over there too well. It could be there. Actually, this kind of looks very cave-like over here. There's some sort of walkway. Let me see what's down here. Aha! There it is! Okay, so the last cave I went into, I died. I'm a little worried we're going to reload this bad boy. And down we go. Uh, what? Danger? Keep out. Oh my god, what are you doing to me? I gotta go in. You know I gotta go in. What does that say? Uh, danger keep out, so I'm assuming I gotta break this sign. Is there anything else in here? Oh. What the hell? Dude, is this a Mysterio reference? I gotta be honest, I don't know much about Mysterio, but I do know that looks very much like his helmet. Uh, we got a spider. Th I think this is. What do we got in here? If I can best a spider, then I can surely kill a snake. If not for my cursed old bones. Dude, is he Mysterio? Spider? Spider-Man? Mysterio was part of Spider-Man, right? I'm, 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 not, I'm not crazy. I, I'm not sure. It's part of the superhero universe. I know that. And I think that was a reference to Spider-Man. Oh, my God. Okay, what is down here? There's got to be... Can I take this? I can't... Dude, I think we found Mysterio. Oh, well, we can take another ship in a bottle, at least. There's nothing else we can do in here. What is this thing? I'm very intrigued by it. I think that's just kind of looks like crazy technology. Yeah, I'm... This is actually really, really cool. I'm very bothered by the fact that I can't seem to get through, though. Regardless, this is really, really cool. So we'll have to come back here. If you guys have any ideas on what I could do to break down this gate, 
I seriously thought the axe would be it. Maybe there's a side. I gotta maybe hit that. So yeah, I uh, I didn't expect Mysterio to be in the game. Uh, of all of all updates, we got freaking Mysterio, guys. I I love this update though. We see that there is now more NPCs. There's more life to this game. And uh, that was our first kind of quest system, so that was actually really, really cool. We also got a glimpse at farming, so I'm thinking that's obviously the direction this game's gonna go. Now we have to uh, put this lady on our ship somewhere. I'm thinking, should we put it on our seeker wall, or should we put it like right at the front somewhere? Can I maybe put it up there? There we go. And what the hell was that? Oh. That's right, I'm full inventory, man. Wow, a lot has happened in this episode, so I guess we're gonna have to kill some more Seekers, cause uh, we're gonna have to fill up these other two walls, and obviously the back wall as well. So, the Seeker slaying is going well, though. Look at that, that is beautiful. Yeah, guys, that is pretty much it with this update, though, so I'm glad we actually found the majority of the secrets, as well as the new uh, old Crook, Crook, as he's called. I hope you guys enjoyed this one. I'm really excited uh, to be following this game. They seem to be updating it really, really quickly, which is nice. And they're adding some really awesome content. So as always, guys, thanks for watching and liking. And I'll see you in the next one.